Hey traders, John Howell here, and in today's market update slash educational video for you, I'm gonna quickly cover what's going on in China right now because obviously the virus started in China. So what's going on out there right now and why things are not as bad as they seem on the front line, okay? Especially if you're watching that manured, I mean, the uh, the mainstream media there. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about stock market and why today's action said that said that we're probably likely to see one more move down. Now, what I mean by move is probably just probably just a little bit more move down, especially in the Dow Jones, before we probably find some final low before we see another rally. Um, and I'm going to share with you why that. I'm going to talk about silver and gold and what's going on there right now, gold stocks, and also one stock that I'm looking at that actually looks like it's getting ready to. F I'm getting ready to actually buy this stock right now. So it's looking really, really good. So let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty guys, so let's get straight into it right now. Um, the Within the markets here uh, and what's going on right now with the actual in the stock market, um, I'll get to that in a minute, but firstly, quick little 60 second rant on what's going on right now with the virus situation. Guys, we are all panicking right now, okay? And we are all worried, obviously, with the coronavirus and stuff like that. Like, this is absolutely just nuts, right? Absolutely nuts. Like, here in Australia, oh my goodness, the government has come in, epidemic, pandemic, it's just all over the all over the place. And then I, and then I actually look up, um, you know, I look up the the, the coronavirus pen, uh, the coronavirus uh, in Australia, um, and uh, let's just do this here. I'm just uh, I'm just doing this on on the fly right now, um, and the thing is this is that um, is that let me just share this with you here. Okay, it's just it's absolutely nuts and absolutely crazy, right? Like look at this here. I see this here is the Australia for Australia, right? In Australia, we have like, what, 20, 25 million people here? Oh my goodness, 876 have had cases and seven deaths and 46 recovered. And it's like, oh my goodness, here in Australia, we're absolutely just, we're blowing this out of proportions of what's going on here. It's like, oh my goodness, seven people died. It's like, yeah, how many people actually died of heart attacks in the last... <laughs> 30 days or diseases and stuff like that um you know and what's going on here right now so uh that's just that's just uh, i don't i don't get what i didn't get what, what all the hype is for anyway about this whole thing you know we everything's been like this whole especially here in australia right and even around the world like things have been getting really really heavy there so anyway i, I don't uh, i i anyway i'll <laughs> just leave it there it's it just blows my mind, guys, that this absolutely just bullshit thing that's happening right now, and it's like, and most people that are actually dying from it are people that are already sick, and and that they probably would have died just from the flu itself as well too. So, oh my goodness, I just can't believe it. Anyway, so obviously this started from China, and it's obviously a lot longer than the sixty second round too, right? This started from China, and um, in early February, China had their complete shutdown. But guess what's happening right now? 70% of businesses are up and running. Everything, everything's starting to get back to normal now in China. 42 stores of Apple have started opening up in China. Everything's starting to move there where it originated. So we're probably likely to see the same effect that's happening here uh, around the globe, right? So probably for the next, say, four weeks or so, we're gonna, probably going to start to see things start to open up again, especially in America, right? They've, they've had the complete shutdown. And then we're probably last, here in Australia, we're probably last to go through that cycle, right? So it's about a six to eight week uh, period there where things get tight and then things and then things get back to normal, like, like what's happening with China. Things are starting to get back to normal, okay? So I'm saying this, guys, that don't panic. Stay calm, stay collected. It's all good, right? This too shall pass, but stay calm. And there was a uh, quote that, let me just do this here. Uh, there's this quote here that I'm going to put on my Facebook group, uh, Facebook page. Um, and um, and as you can see, right, calm mind brings inner strength and self-confidence. So that so that's very important for good health. Um, not only that, but it's good it's good to have make good decisions. So anyway, guys, this too shall pass really, really, really quickly. 
Um, so don't be so freaked up about it and stuff like that. Yes, we're getting a lot of damage in the economy and things are happening, but we too will pick up. We're getting a very, very, very sharp pullback, but um, that's what's happening there. Anyway, let's get straight into the actual markets itself. There's my bit of a rant about what's going on right now, guys. It's not as bad as it seems, guys. Uh, this is just blown out of proportions. I'll tell you what, especially here in Australia, like the government's coming in like, oh my goodness, we've got to stop it. It's like, we've had less than a thousand people actually been, anyway. <laughs> Let me know what you think below uh, about, about the whole situation. Anyway, stock market. So let's have a look at the Dow Jones here, right? We've got, this is actually the day that actually there's a pandemic here. And I was saying in yesterday's video, in the last couple of videos, that we've got this line through here. And as long as we stay below this line, we're probably likely to start to, we're probably likely to continue down because this is like the momentum line, right? And you can see what happened here. We held here and we've actually had a bit of a drop down. Now, what, look at these, see these two lines just down the bottom here when it comes to the Dow Jones? Look what's going on through there. Right, this line here, this line here, what do you think they are? Let me go back to the weekly chart now. And let me squeeze up. Look at this here. That is what, if I actually go back, that's see all this level through here. That very first line, the very first second line, if I actually go back to that level there. Yeah. Uh, okay, now my thing is freezing on me. All right, cool. So let me go back to that level there, right? This here... See all this major level of resistance all through here, and then we had this resistance came down. So that first line that I just showed you there is that line there. The next line is just below that level there. So if I bring this right back over here and I go back to my daily chart now, see that there? These two lines here. All right, where we go? All right, there we go. All right, so these two lines here, ah, they actually look a lot. Let me actually go here, all right? They actually look like. They look a lot closer on the daily chart, don't they? Even on the weekly chart there. Okay, cool. So these two lines here are actually those major levels of support. So maybe we're going to get an, uh, one last sort of final push down to get people freaked out. And then we're probably like, and then we're likely to start to see um, a bit of a move up. Um, so we, we, and we may even get a bit of a flush down below here and then we start to see a move up from there. Uh, S&P 500, we're still around about that level of support. Looks like it's trying to... We're really trying to break flush below that level that level there right now. And the same for the NASDAQ as well. NASDAQ has actually just came down and just holding there right now. So we may see another push uh, on the NASDAQ as well too. So short term guys, actually short term, I actually see we're probably likely to see one more pull down um, in, in the actual markets. And I'm just being honest with what I'm seeing with the markets right here, guys. Obviously, I'm, I'm a bull at heart. What I mean by that is I have positions on right now and I am long, right? And I do see by the end of this year, we're likely to see a very sharp recovery and a very sharp snapback. But in the meantime, on the short-term basis, uh, this is probably likely to see one a bit of a final push, especially on that Dow Jones. We're almost at that level of support. So that's where I see this thing probably flushing down to uh, moving into next week. And then we're probably likely to start to see some things turn around when it comes to that. Let's go have a look at the actual silver and gold through here. So gold uh, itself has continued to uh, stay well below this level through here. So we're still in this overall, we were in this big channel through here. And now we've sort of just come down through and lots and lots and lots of volatility. I would really, really, really like to see if if I want to if I want to get into gold for a trading position, um, investing uh, investing positions, guys, long term. But for a trading position, I would like to see them. I'd like to see this thing hold and then get back above these levels through here because that would tell me this is a bit of a false breakout. And if that happens, then we're probably likely to start to see this thing rally and have a nice shoot right back up to seventeen eighty. I do see guys when it comes to that, and I also see silver and gold as well too. Uh, sorry, silver, same sort of thing, right? We've actually had a big flush down. This is the major level. This is the major low level. Go back to that weekly chart. This major low level all through here. We've had this big flush down. So it's. I do see that probably probably over the next few weeks, we're probably likely to start to pick up on the stock market um, after this massive, massive, massive move down. But then also... Um, but then also I see that everything is probably likely to rise with the actual markets, right? It's like the the stock markets had a big pullback, so silver and gold, so is the miners. Um, and now we're probably likely to see uh, over the next week or so, everything start to pick up and everything go for a nice rise. And you watch guys, everything to me is like, oh my goodness, the stock market's rising and so on and so forth. So uh, it's going to be an exciting from now through to June, guys, the next three months or so. 
yeah, the next three months, it's going to be really, really, really exciting. And then towards the end of this year, I see things really, really heating back up again. As I said before, guys, um, I do see this thing uh, really start, like you can see already, right? You can see already in China, right? China's already starting to get better already. And, and it was it was only January that things started to heat up for them. And now, guess what? Three months later, things are really picking up. So things that have been happening right now, this March has been big for America. So April, May, as I said before, probably June, July, things are really, really going to get, things are really going to pick back up um, in there, um, in, in that there. But I see things slowly getting better and better and better as time goes on. This will wash through, guys, and we will probably see a very sharp snapback uh, when that happens. Um, and I and and probably the stock market is likely to rise because it's a bit of a leading indicator. It's probably likely to rise a few months before they come out and say everything is good to go. Um, so, but that's just my theory. It may not be that way. Moving on to the gold stocks here, guys. We're still very, 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 very volatile in the market here. And we can see what's going on through there. Um, and, um, uh, and also the GDXJ, same sort of thing here. We've got, got a very break, a very strong break below here. But once again, I'm looking for, a, I'm looking for this false breakout, especially the GDXJ. If I go back to my weekly chart here and squeeze my weekly chart up, Notice how we've actually been pretty much done nothing here for quite some time. If this weekly chart is some sort of final low, we've actually had a big flush down and then we start to see a rally back up again. Uh, this whole massive bottoming pattern through here tells me that we're likely to start to see a very, very, very nice move up uh, in, in the miners. And we're probably likely to see the miners be a bit of a fireworks actually. Um, so I'm really, really, really excited about the GDXJ. Um, I want to see that first before I start to before I start to proceed even more with with the miners and stuff like that. So that's what I'm looking for there when it comes to that. And that one stock, guys, that I said that I was actually liking right now, and I've been talking about it, I talk, I've been talking about it uh, for the last few days. And I said I wanted to see a bit of a pullback first. We actually got that today, right? We got a very sharp drop here. We actually got an increase in volume right now. So that that could tell us we're almost at the bottom there. Uh, I'm not getting into it yet. I actually want to see this thing turn around a bit um, first. Uh, as you can see, we're on this big downward slope through here. We're getting very, very close to this long-term uptrend. I'm pretty much there right now. So I do see probably Apple holding a bit here. Uh, we are definitely in a very, very, very oversold territory. We have this gap here that will be filled. So as soon as this thing starts to turn around, with them, with with them, probably like to start to see this thing rally back up and close these gaps, just like most of these stocks are gonna do. So when we do get a rally, guys, most of these gaps are gonna get filled. Like if I look at some of the actual, like for example, the Russell two thousand stocks. If I show you uh, the Russell two thousand, for example, look at the gap here, gap here, and gap here. Uh, at least a rally back up to close these two first gaps, and then probably even even that gap um up back up through here as well too. So. Uh, yes, we are in a recession period right now. We're getting a very, 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 very big, very big pullback in the overall market itself. But when we see the snapback, um, everything is going to just go absolutely just crazy. And we're probably likely to rise really, really quickly. And by the end of this year, guys, guess what? By the end of this year, the word Corona will only probably be in your hand a beer, right? <laughs> it won't even be in the news. It'll be something else. Everything will be back to normal. Everything could be good and everything's good to go, okay? So um, that's what I'm seeing through there, guys. I hope this helps you out and I'll speak to you soon. Hey traders, before you go, I want to give you my brand new trading course. If you go to johnsfreegift.com, you can get access to this free trading course. No credit card required. You got, you got to learn things like the number one chart reading technique that has worked ever since the 1950s so you can know what's going on right now. You also learn the powerful tra powerful trading technique that tells you when the market's about to make a massive explosion. You're also going to learn the top deadly mistakes that's killing your chance of being successful and how to change that today. You're also going to learn my number one trading system for the last 50, 15 years that gets over 90% success rate while only trading one hour per day. You also learn how my mentor made almost $2 million in one trade and plus so much more. This goes for about over 12 hours long walking you through 
from the foundations, chart reading, trading systems, trading techniques, management, and also a, a mindset, everything that you need to, to know. And this is absolutely free. As if for no credit card required. So go to johnsfreegift.com right now. Go to that right now because I'm only doing this for a limited time only, then I'm shutting it down. So go to, go do it right now before it's gone because it's, when it's gone, it's gone. So go to johnsfreegift.com right now to get access to this free training course right now. Go to johnsfreegift.com.